beauty brand Morphe enters bankruptcy. Everyone knows the history of Morphe, from being a trade show business selling makeup brushes to becoming one of the biggest and most successful beauty brands. When it decided to collaborate with prominent social media influencers, the brand grew rapidly, opening physical stores all over the world. However, everyone was in for a great shock when it was reported that the brand was shutting down all their stores. What's worse was that they did not inform all their employees about their decision. No one had any idea that holding clearance sales with steep discounts was the start of Morphe's collapse. Employees shared on social media that they were only informed about the store's closing when everything on the shelves was emptied. There were reports of underhanded actions happening at the Morphe store. Some employees were informed that they were receiving new inventory and undergoing a minor rebrand, while others were told the store was closing due to rent issues. The rent issues would have been plausible as Morphe has had previous issues with paying rent, but that was not the case this time. Morphe later issued a statement on Twitter, We've made the difficult decision to close all Morphe stores in the US. We are forever grateful to our store teams for their passion, talent, and dedication over the years. Customers can continue to shop Morphe online and at select retailers. Morphe stores outside the US will remain open. A spokesperson for Morphe released a statement saying, Following a careful evaluation of all aspects of our business, we've made the strategic decision to enhance our focus on the company's wholesale and e-commerce operations going forward. We believe the shift will position Morphe to better compete in the broader beauty landscape and more efficiently reach our customers where and how they shop. This unfortunate situation will have a huge impact on the employees who are now out of work. They are likely to be looking for another job in the same field or in the same area. The fact that Morphe gave the employees such little notice makes it even more difficult for them to find the job right away. It has also come to light that the employees were not the only ones who were unaware of the real situation because the brands that were acquired and sold in the Morphe stores were also out of the loop. Shaina Azad, founder of Suva Beauty, turned to TikTok to share with all that she herself had no idea what was going on with Morphe. She said, If you don't know, we've been selling in Morphe worldwide in all of their stores since 2019, and we're actually one of the top brands in Morphe. In the past month or so, we've been seeing a lot of people, specifically Morphe staff posting about what's been happening and just let you know as a brand sold in Morphe, we knew nothing about this. Actually, I was recently in Seattle at a Morphe store on October 9th and this staff was just so excited about our new product launch. Anyway, I just want to share that with you. You know, as much more information becomes available, I will keep you updated and posted. I just want to say again, thank you so much for your support of Sova Beauty. Morphe carried many brands aside from Sova Beauty. It just made no sense at all as to why Morphe never told them what was happening. The success of these brands is closely tied to that of the Morphe and former brands. It would be ethical and professional of them to inform all their business partners that they were closing all stores, as that is typically standard practice. Shaina was reportedly surprised and she further explained how Morphe was an ideal store for her company to sell in. She also mentioned that placing her brand in a store like Sephora was not easy. Shaina explained, I would love to go into another national global retailer, but the decision actually isn't as easy as some may think. There's a lot of considerations that the brand needs to make when deciding to go into a new retailer and also vice versa the retailer when deciding on board a new brand. Because I started Sova Beauty with the money from my own pocket and I still run Sova Beauty with money from my own pocket because we're an independently run beauty brand, unlike other brands which have a lot of private equity and capital. Some of the things that you do need to consider is RTV, gratis, sampling, VM buildouts, marketing, your time, specific products, exclusivity products, newness, and the timeliness of newness. What does that actually mean? It means that you don't receive a PO and you're just fulfilling that PO. It would be one year of conversation, another year of prep, and then you would know by the third year then that's when you're actually launching in store or online. And by that time, you could actually be out of pocket or a major deficit. So taking back to Morphe, Morphe had 50 stores and for an independent video brand that's very doable to be able to look forward and support that growth, whereas some of these other national retailers, they have like a thousand plus stores, and for an independent beauty brand to plan for that, you might not be onboarded into, you know, all 1,000 right away. But are you able to support that if needed overnight? When you've checked out Morphe's website, you would see that they have partnered with many brands, including Bad Habit, Vanilla Co, Born Dreamer by Charlie D'Amelio, and Grand Cosmetics. It's hard to predict the impact this will have on them, especially given that Playa has already filed a lawsuit against them for not fulfilling their promises. 
Fans are now wondering if they will see more lawsuits from other brands in the future. If there was one person that fans were waiting to hear from, it would be Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn was responsible for making the brand a huge success and a profitable business. Most people only knew or bought of products from Morphe because of her. She was likely the main reason many of the employees even wanted to work there. When people think of Morphe, Jaclyn is often the first person that comes to mind. Many people believe that Jaclyn Hill should have released a statement regarding the recent event right away. Her brand was also affected by the situation, as her products were being sold at a heavily discounted price inside Morphe stores and could be found in discount stores worldwide. However, she had not yet made any substantial comments on the situation. She only replied to one person on Twitter who asked her if she was aware of the situation. She said, Breaks my heart. I have faith that the brand will do well online and in Ulta. But it's really sad to see. I used to go to the grand openings with the founder and we would cry because it was surreal. There have been various rumors circulating for months that Morphe may file for bankruptcy. Some articles claim to have inside sources who suggested the possibility, but no official announcement was made. Many people thought that instead of filing for bankruptcy, the company decided to close down their stores in an effort to recover some of their losses. But recently, it was officially announced that Morphe had filed for bankruptcy and ended their partnership with Ariana Grande. Bloomberg was the first news outlet to report on the filing. According to Bloomberg's article, Forma Brands LLC, the parent company of Morphe LLC, filed for bankruptcy in Delaware on Thursday and has plans to be acquired by lenders such as Jefferies Finance LLC and Cerebrus Capital Management. They listed assets and liabilities of at least $500 million each in core papers. The bankruptcy filing under Chapter 11 allows Forma to continue operating while it looks for court approval of a restructuring plan. However, the company has already announced that it will be closing all of Morphe these U.S. stores. It also added that the investor group that was set to take ownership of Forma has agreed to provide $33 million in new financing during the bankruptcy process. The proposed acquisition, which includes Forma wholesale retailers, online platforms, and international Morphe retail stores, sets a minimum for future offers and must be approved by a federal judge. In addition, Forma planned to terminate its licensing agreement with Ariana Grande's REM. It's surprising that Morphe is doing so poorly that even with Ariana Grande's large fan base, they were unable to improve their sales. Many people felt that REM Beauty, which was Ariana's partnership with Morphe, lacked a personal touch and it seemed like Ariana was not fully invested in the brand. The makeup line also lacked personality and passion. Given Ariana's popularity, not many people seemed to be attracted to the line. The bankruptcy filing marks the end of a difficult two and a half years for Morphe. Despite marketing deals with YouTubers and influencers, the company was unable to increase its revenues. Morphe's marketing strategy heavily relied on online personalities like James Charles, Jacqueline Hill, and Jeffree Star, who have a huge following on YouTube, and their collaborations with the brand were known to sell out quickly. It appeared that Morphe's largest unsecured creditors, to whom they owed the most money, were none other than Jacqueline Hill and Jeffree Star. They were listed as unsecured creditors, holding claims of $2 million and $1.4 million, respectively, according to court papers. An unsecured creditor is someone who lends money without obtaining specific assets or collateral as collateral, which poses a higher risk for the creditor because there is nothing to fall back on if the borrower defaults on the loan. If the borrower fails to make a payment on an unsecured debt, the creditor cannot take any of the borrower's assets without first winning a lawsuit. It's not clear why Morphe owed Jacqueline Hill and Jeffree Star such a large amount of money. It's possible that the debt was from sales or appearances, or perhaps they provided a large loan to help the company as investors in the brand. For a long time, many people have suspected that these influencers had some kind of investment in Morphe, and that they may be the reason for their continued collaborations and promotion of the brand. No one would be surprised if Jacqueline or Jeffrey would also file a lawsuit against the company to somehow recover what they had invested. Morphe eventually announced her bankruptcy on Twitter, writing, Our parent company Forma Brands has agreed to be acquired by a group of its investors in a court-supervised sale. This doesn't impact the Morphe products that you love, and we will continue to launch new products. Currently, Morphe is having large sales on their website, with many items being offered at discounts of up to 70%. As for the future of the company, it seems they will focus on selling online and attempt to bring back what was once a company that was a major competitor to Sephora. They've received $33 million in financing from the investors who acquired them, so it's uncertain what they will do with it. What do you think are the reasons that Morphe was losing money? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Are you not entertained? If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.